I'm really starting to get interested in the physics thing, like you. Understanding, like, physics, theoretical physics, quantum physics, macro physics, you know, all of it. It's, it you start understanding why the universe makes sense. Mm -hmm. People are like, well, none of that works. Like, how does the Big Bang, well, if you understand field gravity, you know, of course planets come together, they orbit like this, it all clumps together with energy and stuff, because physics. <laughs> but, no, it, it's not because physics, it's because God. But, perhaps God is physics. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, what it is is that physics, just like evolution, is God's way of doing things. Well, at that point, then, God is a natural force and thus is not God. Shut up. That's what that comes down to. God acts completely through natural forces and acts in a manner consistent with evolution and design of nature's origin, not some bigger being then God is effectively a non-being, because he acts in no way that the universe couldn't act without him. You, that, you don't know that because you don't know what the universe would be like without God. No, I don't, but if he acts entirely within natural and explainable phenomena, which do not have an external origin beyond what we can observe and see, then effectively he doesn't exist. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> That argument can be made, I think. If he doesn't act in any way that is supernatural or observable beyond the pale, then effectively he is none of those things. It's, it's like that whole thing, you know, actions speak louder than words. Mm -hmm. you, could, you can tell me a rose shoots lasers, but if I don't ever see it happen, there's no evidence of it happening, and there is no damage done because of this event, then effectively it doesn't exist.